Hi guys I am Kamal Ahmed artist I am going to tell you about color pencil drawing. I want to do a color pencil drawing challenge and I'm a bit worried that I'm not going to be able to do. It was a challenge but I do feel like I learned a lot some of you suggested I do the same challenge again but this time with a portrait so let's give it a go but let's take this time. I'm left with a red yellow and black I am going to make one a black to be honest I find that black looks way too harsh pretty heavy when used on a portrait so I want to swap it for the next darkest color I just don't need the contrast so I'm going to use the dark sapia so I'm left way of dark sapia no red and yellow now before I can start I need to pick a reference fate I'm going to draw a man I feel like I never draw then and I want to be focusing this video on drawing skin tone so I want to try and find a picture of a man starting this so I thought the best thing to do would be just start putting something down on the paper with the dark Cynthia at least then I would get a almost template that I could then put colors on so I kind of decided to treat this like I was drawing a graphite during for example like a just trying to get something down and did treat it and this would be different to how I would win the ography drawing they because with the lighter areas of the skin usually I would still put some something down but it wasn't voiding the very latest areas I just wanted to put some shading if I saw quite a dark shadow or just generally outlined the features and I initially wanted to start on just the face and then I thought I could do the hair and the shirt and everything a bit later once I had something down I then wanted to be looking at the reference I'm looking for the most obvious color that was missing so in his skin he's got a lot of areas that are either bright red or kind of an orange color so I thought if I start doing the shading with with the red very lightly then at least I'm getting some cut down and maybe I can adjust it from there I also thought if I went in extremely likely to start with then I can kind of treat this as almost an underdrawing is like a practice run and then I plan to once I'd marked everything out and I was happy with what I was doing I could go over a bit further so as I had the red down I then thought if I added some yellow if the top then I can slightly adjust the reds to make them more of an orange I was also trying very hard to look at the the colors I can actually see in his face when you actually look at skin it's not just made up of shades of brown it's actually made up of variety of different colors so what I'm trying to do is really see those colors I then moved on to the blue and generally the main area that you find blue tones ears underneath the eyes for example it tends to be quite thin skin onto head and as a result because you can see the veins through it looks much cooler and there are a number of other places on his face where it's not so much blue but more of a purple say to get that color I have to mix the red and the blue once I eat one through three primary color yes I then wanted to go back to the red it looks much too yellow and blue and I wanted to put some of that red back in so from here I was relatively happy with what I'd drawn it definitely needed more boating upon it and it definitely needed tweaking but I wanted to do the same as I did with the skin for the rest of the drawing so I began by drawing out the hair with the black sea and I did this in a very similar way to Hawaii would usually go about half so marking out the clumps of have rather than individual strands and using flicking machines to start boarding apps some of the texture I did do this all quite roughly which I do think shows but again at this point it was really about me just getting something down on the I felt was the most obvious color that was missing so this man has blonde hair the closest I have to my blonde color is yellow so I don't know that you're just put down blank yellow color on his hair and then from there I wanted to be looking at the different colors I could see within his head service. In some areas where it did have a few kind of orange reddish sections and there wasn't a little bit of blue in his hair as well you can see it looks a little bit crazy because parts of his hair looks green but that's okay I could always go back and fix this later that's the perk of using such light layers so here although it is far from perfect I did have a very rough drawing of a man with very roughly the right colors so it was my plan hit to go back uber the top and do it all much Femino a kind of threat like a kind of nay what I was doing in least I had experimented a bit and kind of tried things out so I wanted to go back over everything but more definitely and it will also wanted to do this section by section so I started off with the eyes going back uber the darker parts firmer with the sepia and then I could start once again focusing on the actual colors I 
I could see save for example on the bags underneath his eyes towards the outer edge it was kind of a bright yellow orange and towards the inner edge it was much more powerful and I just used the three colors mixing them together to try and create what I can see and although when I looked at it place it looks a little bit wacky I did think it was starting to look relatively realistic now as far as making all of the colors go there's a couple of things that I was thinking about so obviously when you mix for example red and yellow together it makes orange but it made quite a bright orange with the colors that I had so if I wanted to make more of an earthy orange what I could do is take the complementary color to orange which is blue and she's very lightly put some of the blue available for the orange and it just turns it down a bit and makes it a lot less scarish and you also want to bear mind that if I was to mix all three colors then it would make brown which is obviously a very important color when you're drawing a face but also became very important when I was drawing the hair now the hair initially was looking way too light despite the fact that the man appears to have blonde hair when I actually looked at it it had an awful lot of dark Tanzania it was the only odd strand of hair that made it look blonde so I started off with a dark seat here again and really built up a loss of this color I did create a lot of hair stripes with flicks of the pencil but particularly down the side of his head I literally just wanted to do some kind of standard shading I was really focusing on building up these dark runnings on his hair and once I've done that it did kind of hide the fact that before I put down such a green race but there was some areas where we were really showed through and where it looked way too light in comparison to the rest of his hair so what I did was flitted between all three of their colors passing little amounts in each clump of hair so I focused on one clump at a time cycling through these colors tip builds up a brown some cups of hair were more of a yellowish brown some clumps of Hawaiian more of a reddish brown so I could just put more vodka la while using echinomis of the other two and I think this created quite a cool effect as I get towards the end here I think something that I always say is becoming very apparent which is that the color you pick isn't actually that important in creating a realistic portrait it's much more important that you pick the correct tones and have the correct contrast then getting the colors perfect because I do think that this looks like a realistic drawing despite the fact that his face it's made up of mostly primary and secondary colors I am genuinely happy with this it was my goal to make something that kind of resembled a man but it's come out way better than I expected I particularly like that when you're far away it looks like a normal drawing but when you're up close it looks like a rainbow I think it's really cool and once again I feel like I've learned a lot about how these primary colors will work together I highly recommend trying this either trying on your own drawing or if you want to draw this one along with me it's available on my patron there's and as always if you enjoyed this video give it a like i am so happy with it thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel like share and comment thank you bye bye